to art class with Miss Chris. This week, we're going to explore the world of the ocean. Um, I want to share with you an artist named Wyland. Wyland is an amazing artist. He is a muralist, a painter, and a sculptor. Wyland was born in 1956 in Detroit, Michigan. But what inspired him to become an artist and a sculptor and a muralist is when he was a child around 14 years old, his family took a trip to the California coast. And during this trip, he was able to see whales migrating on our coast and he became fascinated with it. So he started painting our underwater world and he became very good at it. He went to art school and his teacher actually told him it would be a good idea for his career to move to California. So he did that and he has been going ever since. He, there's lots of murals that you may even see just driving around. He has murals in Laguna Beach. He has one at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. He has art on walls everywhere, all over the world. So today we're going to pay tribute to Wylan and create a humpback whale. Um, well, another thing I really want to say briefly about Wyland is Wyland is all about education and sea life and protecting our ocean and waterways. And he has a foundation called the Wyland Foundation. And the, the beautiful sea creature we're going to create today is a humpback whale. And I want to let you know that these animals were endangered, meaning their population got really, really low. But through education and people coming together and educating um, fishermen and our world, now these humpback whales are doing great. Their numbers have come back and they are not on the endangered species list anymore. So it's just amazing what people can do. If we just come together for the better and work hard um, to preserve our habitat and our beautiful ocean and our keeping our waters clean, it's just amazing thing. So remember that. All right, so let's get started with the humpback whale. All right, so I'm gonna start right here on my paper. Oh, I should tell you what you need today, huh? All right, so what you're gonna need is a pencil, um, a black Sharpie, and you're only gonna need this for a second. I have here a cup of water and I have a, some paint brushes. I have a really skinny one and a thicker one, a couple really skinny ones, and a thicker paintbrush. And the reason I need that is for this. This is, I put this on the supply list. Um, I don't know if you have it yet, but if you have any kind of watercolor paints, I would love for you to get those today because we're gonna do a little painting. So this is a brand that I like. It's called Artist Loft. And it has a huge variety of colors in it. So it's really fun to work with. And the colors are really, really vivid. So watercolor paint. And also, this seems kind of crazy, but I'd like you to get some salt. You can get put salt on a little plate, uh, on a little dish, or you could just get a shaker salt like I have here. So salt, and you'll see why later. All right, let's begin our project. So what we're gonna do for this project is we're gonna draw the whale. So I'm gonna come here, here's the center of the paper, and I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna leave some space for the tail area, and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna make a curve. It comes up and goes all the way to the other side of my paper, like a big curve, okay? Now, from this spot, I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna dip down, like so. I'm gonna go straight across, and then I'm gonna curve down, and this is gonna be the body, the main body. I'm gonna come back towards the end, okay? So this is gonna be the 
the mouth of the humpback, the eye, and then this is gonna be the tail area back here. So I'm gonna come back here, and now we're gonna create a tail, and this tail is gonna be kinda of curved over. Humpback whales are huge creatures. They weigh tons of weight, and they, um, they, they give live to um, live birth, which makes them mammals, and they nurse their young in the water. Um, they're very gentle and sweet creatures. They use their huge tail to sometimes, when they hunt, they hit the, they hit the fish and stun them, and then they go through and eat the stun fish. So I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna create the tail now. The tail's gonna come down and it's gonna be really big, okay? I'm gonna create a really, really big tail because these tails are huge. If you've ever seen um, videos or some of you may have gone whale watching. I've never gone whale watching, it's on my list. I wanna do that soon. Um, you can see this tail that comes up and hits the water as it go down. It's really beautiful. A lot of artists just like to paint the tail. All right, so now we have the main body, okay? So the mouth of the humpback is actually, we're gonna come up here towards the top, and there's gonna be a smaller area and a larger area, okay? It's gonna come across, and then we're gonna dip down here. It's gonna be like so. And then we're gonna create the eye. And the eye is gonna be right where we dip down right here, right in this section. And I'm gonna make kind of like, almost like a humanish eye. Like a, an um, almond shape. And then it's where gonna be my eyeball's gonna be. I'm gonna put a bubble in here for a highlight. And we're gonna color, color this in later. So I'm gonna go down here through the hump back and right before the eye, I'm gonna create a little dip that comes up like this. That's gonna be the blowhole. And that's where the humpback whale filters the water through, create, he gets his oxygen through his gills and he, he blows the um, air out the blowhole. So we're gonna have that be right here. I'm gonna erase that a little bit. All right, now his fins are very large. So right about here, up towards the bottom, I'm gonna create two fins. This, is, this one is in, on the side of him, so it's connected to the side of his body, and it's gonna be very long and very big. It's gonna be like that, okay? I'm gonna erase this because this is on the side of his body. Alrighty, so there's one fin. Now, the other fin is on the other side of his body. So I'm gonna move over here a little bit and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna create this one on the other side of his body. It's not gonna be as long because it's on the other side of his body and it would end on the other side of his body up here. So it's gonna be a little shorter in length than that one. All right, so another feature of the humpback whale is back here, come along the back, there's gonna be another, it's a small little fin that kind of comes up like that. A small one though, it's like so. And then I'm gonna erase this. Alrighty, so now we have, you can start seeing our humpback whale come together. Now um, through the chin area and under his tummy, it's actually um, white, but it has these lines that go through it. So we're gonna create lines, just start right here and create lines that go through, through his chin, through the back, like so. Lots of them. See those lines? There you go. Just like so. They don't have to be perfect or anything, just get them in there. All right, so now we have a pretty decent looking humpback whale. Hope you like it. Um, and we're gonna now get into our paint, the fun stuff. So I'm gonna get my paints. I've used these paints before. I'm gonna open them up here. 
And I, today I'm gonna use the um, dark blue and some of this black color. I'm gonna kind of mix it together. And the way the paint works is you get your paintbrush and you just add water to the paint and that makes the paint move around and work. So it's powder that you add water to. And the more water you add, the more liquidy it gets and the more light it gets. So if you wanted something to be really light, just add a lot of water to it. So um, another thing I wanna do before that, um, if you have that black Sharpie, this would be a good time. I'm just gonna use the black Sharpie in the eye area, nowhere else. And the reason is, the reason I like black Sharpie so much is because they don't bleed when water comes, hits them. A lot of pens that you use, when you use water on them, they bleed, meaning the, um, the ink kind of runs, but not with the black Sharpies. All right, so I'm gonna go through my whale right now, and I'm gonna get this, use this dark blue color. See that color right there? And I'm actually gonna add a little bit of black to it because I want it to be kind of like a dark blue gray color. So I'm just using the little side right here and I'm adding a little water. And now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this whale and I'm gonna outline everything. I'm using a really thin brush, by the way. So I'm just gonna go through with a thin brush. I'm gonna go pretty fast because I don't want this video to take forever, but I'm gonna go fast. You guys take a slower time and I'm just gonna kind of give everything a nice, a nice outline. This is just the beginning, okay? I'm gonna go through, give everything a new, nice little outline, my fin. And when it's, um, when I want it to be a little thicker, I'm just gonna go and mix a little bit more blue and black and water in my tray. See, see how dark that is? That's just a little bit more black in it. I don't mind it. So I'm gonna come up here. And as you can see with the way I make art, and I wasn't always this way, but I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist about it, and I used to be, but as I've grown older and made a lot of art, I just enjoy the process so much that being perfect about it is just, it takes away the fun of it. So don't worry if it's not perfect, just have fun. Art should just be fun, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna also outline those little lines I put in. You could outline with black Sharpie too. But I wanna keep this, the majority of this um, piece of work, I wanna keep this in, in a, just mainly a watercolor piece. And if you don't have watercolor, you can do this in pencil and shade it and things like that. Or just watch and learn a little bit about watercolor. It's really fun to use. I also like painting with acrylic paint, which is plastic base but it's hard on your clothes. Like if it gets on your clothes, they're ruined. And um, I use it in my art classes, but um, we ru kids ruin a lot of their clothes in my art classes because of it, but it's really fun. It's really thick and fun to use. Alrighty, so now I have my lines and now I'm gonna get my bigger brush. And I'm gonna start, so these uh, humpback whales, they're kind of like a grayish blue on the top. And then on the underneath of them, where all those lines are, that stays white. So I wanna show you a fun technique um, that I like to do. So what I do is I just, I'm just adding water. See, I go right over that eye. See, it doesn't bleed, the, the, the um, Sharpie doesn't bleed. I'm just using water right now, and I'm just coming into this first area. Where it hits the paint, it kind of bleeds, and I, I want it to do that. But I don't want it to bleed um, in the eye, because then we won't see the eye anymore. All right, so I just filled that with water, so it's really wet. 
And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get that blue. I'm getting the blue, here, let me show you. I'm getting the blue, I'm adding a little black to it, creating like in here, creating like a liquidy area and watch. See how it just moves around? I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna add that in here. And it, you know what? If you wanna get a little crazy with it and you don't want a blue well and you wanna add some colors like purple or whatever colors you like, I mean, that's fine. As I said, there's no, um, you know, rules to this. But watch, now what I like to do too, is I like to move it. It's really fun. You just take the paper and you kind of go back and forth and you just let the watercolor, I'm gonna kind of blend it all together, just kind of do what it wants. So it creates kind of a splotchy look. With, I think it's kind of nice for this whale. Um, a lot of times on these whales, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go in and now I'm gonna add some, I'm just gonna add some color to the, to the fins. Okay, a lot of times with these whales, there's a lot of, um, of stuff that grows on them from the ocean. So, to create kind of that effect, I'm gonna get salt. Here's where the salt comes in. And on top of the wet paint, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna sprinkle it with salt. And after I sprinkle it with salt, I'm gonna leave it alone. Because if I start mixing with, if I start right now, if I start taking my paintbrush and I go all in there, it's just gonna ruin the effect. So what happens when the salt hits the paint, it kind of like separates the paint and it creates a really cool texture, kind of like um, the texture of a whale in the wild. So I'm gonna um, just let that dry and that'll take a little while. Another thing that you can do right now, if you wanna get a little crazy with this watercolor, which I, I'm in the mood for today, um, I'm going to go back into that blue, maybe get a little bit of a lighter blue, and I'm just going to go like this, right where the blowhole is. I'm just tapping, tapping on it. And that's going to be kind of like the bubbles coming up from the water. Um, if you want, you can paint this whole thing like it's underwater. You can just explore this. You can make the background a different color, like yellow or pink or whatever you want. I mean, it's really endless. It's really fun. And if I wanna go back in and add a little more to this, I will. But as again, don't go over that salt, let that dry. But if I wanna come in and maybe add a little some darker areas in here, just to create a little more definition I will. It's really fun to paint. Painting is uh, probably my most favorite thing to do in art is paint. I think it's because it's fluid and it moves. And it's really fun to see it move and to explore layer layering colors and things like that. For this art course, I'm gonna stick with just mainly watercolor. And we're gonna be doing more watercolor. So if you don't have any watercolor, if you could pick up some, a little pad, that would be fantastic. So anyways, I'm gonna end right now with my humpback whale for today. And um, I hope you enjoy painting a little bit and creating the texture of the, um, with the salt. And have a great week and I'll see you next time. Take care.